Hello traders. In this video we are going to break down the US dollar Canadian dollar. We are watching closely this pair for the past two weeks. We see clearly a head and shoulder pattern. Price breakout and reached more than 60% of potential target for this type of pattern. Price didn't retest the neckline. Price come back to neckline, but in this case is not a proper retest of this neckline. Because price pulled back too late, and the pattern already had reached the target. Of course, it's a support level, but we're going to keep in mind other factors and formations too. Below the neckline we have a strong demand, and a lot of volume accumulated in this zone. We didn't prefer to enter at this level but waited. I know that waiting sometime is hard and frustrate you. But in trading is a must. It's a virtue that will grow with time, experience and a lot of trial and error. We forecasted an AB equals CD pattern and alternate 1.271. Price dropped sharply below the support and reached the demand zone on Friday. This aggressive move stimulated by the economic news for Canadian dollars that day. I personally have a rule that I don't prefer to open new trade on Friday. Price stopped at the point of 1.27 AB equals CD pattern. Consolidated the first part of the week and then bounced in upside direction. Technical analysis work, but you should keep in mind all factors and choose the scenarios that have high probability to happen. For example, entering a buy traded neckline is a premature entry. Seeing the full picture will help us avoiding these types of entry. I am not saying that entering at support is wrong. I am saying that every setup is similar and different in the same time. Depend on the situation and other correlations that we should consider before entering a trade. Make sure to like and subscribe. This encourage us to make more helpful videos in the future. Price touched the supply and resistance zone. We expected that pullback and that offered us a short term sell trade. Now price is at POC, point of control. We have two bullish scenarios here. The first one is at fresh demand zone that was created past week. We expecting that price will reject this zone. The second scenario is below this demand zone more precisely at last demand zone. This zone correlates with potential at B equals CD pattern and can create a double bottom pattern if we switch on higher time frames. When you forecast the United States dollars pair I will suggest to keep an eye on dollar index too. We have here an expanding wedge pattern, price breakout and retest it. Price bounce from the demand zone. And we have some kind of head and shoulder pattern forming at pullback phase of the price. Price is creating a high, a low, a higher high, and the last pullback we can consider a higher low. Next we expect a higher high, that correlate with bullish bias on United States dollars Canadian dollars.